Welcome everyone to the Side Draft Podcast, and welcome to our review of the Boyd Gaming 300 from Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the Xfinity Series race, and what an exciting finish to the end! A lot of overtimes, a lot of crashes. Yeah, it got you know pretty intense, you know, at the end with Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick trying to uh, run down Kyle Busch. So it was pretty crazy. So much, much like last week, Cole Custer would win the pole due to rain. Greg's an outside pole. Uh, but unlike last week, the 20 car would have to fall back to the back uh, for unapproved body changes. And the initial start would be Cole Custer versus Gregson. And again, like Atlanta, Gregson would just have a rough start there on the outside. I don't know if he starts really, really loose and just couldn't get a good restart. and uh, Had some really good saves right there, you know, with everybody uh, going around him. So, uh Good driving by him. And then we have the first caution, just three laps in, with Joey Gase in the number 90. Looked like the 90 car got loose. He was trying to save it. Uh, yeah, he, just couldn't really save it, and then Joey Gase comes in plowing through him. Yeah, I ain't sure if the spotter didn't say stop, slow down, or what, or if he just uh, thought he could get around him or what, but he just he really couldn't. He just destroyed his car. Yeah, that was a pretty hard hit there. Yeah. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of bad, ironic. You know, he's got donate life on the hood, and he just killed his car. Yeah, he donated the car's life, I guess. So. Uh-huh. So somebody, I guess, <laughs> somebody got life. Yeah, <laughs> a car is alive. <laughs> Welcome to Cars Three, everyone. Uh, but re- the restart would be Cole Custer versus Cindric, and Cindric would just have an awesome restart. He would take the lead momentarily, uh, but Cole Custer would take it back with a bump from Jones for Cindric and we would never really see Cindric up at the front again. Yeah, I thought Cindric would have a very good day. He was up there leading for a little bit, but uh his car, you know, got I don't think got tight or really loose. He just but he stayed in the top ten. I mean he just went back to about ninth or tenth on that little run there. Kyle Bush would have a problem with his tire and he would have to go to Pit Road. Very angry Kyle Bush. Yeah, he really Shoot his crew out on that, and just you know, I know you you want to race and you intense, but uh, you know the crew's trying. Yeah, I mean, I understand why you'd be so upset because it's the start of the race. All the tires should be torqued, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's not something that should happen, but it is the beginning of the race. No need to chew them out and. You don't want to piss them off. You just, know. just calm down. Just you know, it's, it's early and uh, get it back and try to make it better. And a while, Kyle Busch was trying to get his lap back. Christopher Bell would be just slicing his way through the field. I thought maybe he was the fastest car all day. Yeah, he's a, he really had to hang on down pat and uh, just try to continue where he was from last week. And Cole Custer would just go on a Saturday night drive or day drive and win yeah. stage one. Yeah, he pretty checked out. Just cruised around, probably driving one hand, you know. <laughs> like a three-second lead, I believe. But, yeah. Um, much valuable stage points and playoff point for Cole Custer. Mm-hmm. So stage two would begin, pit stops. Cole Custer would have a bad stop, and Tyler Reddick would take the lead. And, you know, I was really impressed with Tyler Reddick t- uh, yesterday. Yeah, he's really showing some really uh, strengths in the – RCR car and uh, he really had Mr. Beats in last last year. Yeah, you know, Junior Motorsports. He wasn't, you know, he was decent at these tracks. He wasn't like dominating or yeah. front runner, I think. But uh, it's great to see him running up front. Yeah. And then Kyle Busch would not pit so he could get his lap back, hoping for a caution. If he doesn't get a caution, it's going to be really tough for him to get it back. Yeah, it was really it's really tough to gamble. I mean, you're in Vegas, you might as well gamble. Why are you doing that? Uh, because if the caution didn't go out and you had to pit, I mean, you're going to be down two, three laps because of it. And it'd be Reddick versus Jones for the restart. Reddick would take the lead. And something that Kyle Busch wanted, but probably not in the rest of the field, uh, he would get that much needed caution as Austin Sindrick would get tagged by Zane Smith in the eight. And, you know, Bush said he didn't have very good luck, but that that's his luck, and yeah. caution came out. And yeah, Sometimes it's good to just be lucky, but 
Uh, sometimes Kyle, he's he's good and lucky at the same time. Uh, but it looked like Cinder was kind of trying to side draft a little bit with Zane, and he's a little bit too close. It looked like Zane just you know just you cross some little bumps and it upsets your car and he just got loose and turned Cinder. But but awesome uh, driving skill by Austin to not hit the wall or anything. Yeah, he did have that little little issue with uh, the flaps on the hood. Yeah. Uh, so something with the the Penske cars and just having issues with these yeah. flaps and hatches. Yeah, the, the flaps didn't what they're supposed to do open up, but uh, so, you know when you spin around that rate of speed, sometimes they just kind of blow off. But it was an awesome plan by the their, the Penske team. Uh, got it, got it fixed pretty quick and didn't have more issues after that. It'd be Nemechunk versus Reddick. Uh, Reddick would take the lead, and he would win stage two. And then, uh, well, another thing we should we should point out is Kyle Busch had older tires, 14 lap older tires, so he could be on the same set of tires, and he would still just slice through the field. It it really didn't matter if he had new tires or old tires. He's Kyle freaking Busch. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's got a feel for Vegas since he, he just was in the trucks. Uh, the night before, and he just, you know, sometimes it's just to feel uh, what you got to have in the car to make it better. And pit stops again. Tyler Rennick would lead off pit road, and then it'd be Bell and Kyle Busch to follow. Uh, Ryan Sieg would be too fast on pit road, which he was having a great day up until yeah, he, that. He was having a pretty awesome day up until then. It'd be Tyler Rennick versus Christopher Bell, and Kyle Busch takes second, and it'd be a uh, Awesome battle between Reddick and Kyle Busch for a few laps. Yeah, I was, I was really surprised by Reddick. He, he really held Busch off for a while. Um, I don't know if he went to the high side or, or no, he went he went down low and then Busch uh, got around him. And Bell would take over second from Reddick. Then Algar would have a issue with his engine. He'd have to go to the garage. Hmm. Yeah, it's unusual for... Uh, for junior motorsports to have uh, engine trouble like that. And then pit stops, Kyle Busch and Tyler Reddick would be in first, and Christopher Bell would stay out a few laps later, which really hurt him. Yeah. I think he should have went as soon as possible, try to go at least a lap before, or if not, go in the same lap. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I thought that you know Reddick and Bell would actually run down Bush. is catching a little bit, and they lose a little bit. They catch a little bit and lose a bit. Uh, just depends on how they hit lap traffic, but uh, yeah, it really hurt Christopher Bell at that point. But Bell would just, you know, find a way. He was right there. He would eventually get to the lead, taking the outside, and then as soon as he gets the lead, you know, something I don't really see out of Bell a whole lot, but he makes a mistake. Yeah. And you know, he would hit the wall and give Kyle Busch back the lead. They would have to find a way back, which I think they would have made their way back anyway. I'm not sure about passing him, but then we'd have a caution car through the grass, and then that changes everything. That just changes about. everything. And then Kyle yeah, Busch. Yeah, I thought I thought that Christopher Bell and Reddit would make a move. I mean, uh, Bell took the lead, and I don't know if he's got real tight and just hit the wall a little bit, and that just destroyed his chances. Yeah, that was probably driving super hard because you know yeah. they're like, we need to beat Kyle Busch at some point, in this season you know because that's ultimate bragging rights you know yeah. you can go in the garage with, well you know I beat Kyle Busch yeah. so that's that's one positive about having cup guys in the series yeah and, and it looked like they was doing a really good job at beating him uh, it just couldn't get the lead from him yeah they, they eventually beat themselves I think yeah, they I think they beat themselves they probably they both could have passed Kyle Busch there and yeah, he would have had a chance been, that might have been a chance that uh, I just give the race away. Yeah, I guess that's that inexperienced versus an experienced veteran in the sport. Yeah. And then Kyle Busch would lead off pit road, and then it'd be Busch versus Bell in the restart. And then Brandon Jones would crash. I believe he's trying to block Cole Custer, or maybe got loose, but hard hit for him right into the wall, almost like straight on. Yeah, it looked like his car got really upset and. Uh, He's trying to keep control of it. He might just come down. Uh, got, I don't know if he's going to try to get to pit lane or what it was, but he come down like a half a lane and 
Cole Custer's right there, just fender and whoop, went around. And then another restart, Bush versus Reddick. And then on that restart, Reddick had an awesome run, but it looked like Kyle Bush maybe took upset of the air on Reddick, and Reddick would just go around collecting Bell and Zane Smith and Austin Sendrick. Horrible crash there there yeah. for them. This is very tough. They came very close to, to beating Bush, but at the end of the day, took themselves out. Yeah, I think Reddick probably could have beat Bush at that point. But he was kind of pinned down on the bottom lane, and I guess he's got he just lost the back end. It was unfortunate he, he took out Bell and and Cindric really didn't have anywhere to go. Then it'd be Bush versus Nemechek, which Nemechek tried he tried his best. I don't think he had uh, quite the car to beat Kyle Busch, but you know sometimes not the fastest car wins. But uh, he gave it a shot. Yeah, and I believe you know if they had like a couple more laps, I believe Gregson. Probably could have took him. Yeah, because they had the fresher, fresher tires, tires back there. Uh, you know, just not much you could do in two laps, though. Yeah, because he passed, like, what, two cars in one one corner there. I was like, man, he's coming. You know, if he had another lap, I mean, he, he'd have been right there. He was just blowing right by him. So, yeah. uh, it was an interesting finish. Uh, I was very impressed with Tyler Reddick and Christopher Bell. I yeah. uh, can't wait to see the Homestead battle, battle between them two. Yeah, and... It's really good to see Gregson. He's running uh, top five, top ten all day, and uh, it's really good to see him finish third. I mean, it's pretty awesome for that team. He's been a rookie and all. This is uh, it's a good run by him. Yeah, especially with that you know horrible start that he had at, yeah. the, at the beginning and just rebound for a third place finish. Yeah, he, he's got some wins coming. I, I can see it this year. Another great finish for Ryan Sieg, which his sponsor is our sponsor spotlight of the day and who's our who was that uh lombard brothers gaming so uh we just like to tell them a little bit about them yeah they uh live stream video games on youtube um mostly racing games like nascar heat 3 and i racing so if you enjoy watching uh youtubers play those types of games uh give them a give them a look and maybe subscribe yeah it's always good to shout out for, to another youtuber yeah and it's great to see other youtubers in the sport you know, we would love to sponsor a car ourselves, but we're just not there yet. <laughs> I mean, unless unless one of those drivers are like, we need two dollars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we can give you a dollar maybe, but you know, uh, it is great that they can uh, sponsor Ryan Sieg and support him. Yeah. But yeah, that is all we have for today. Uh, but if you did find the Dell Junior in the the thumbnail, let us know down below. Uh, last week's Del, or yesterday's Dell Jr. was here, which was found by uh, Corvette Fan 48. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.